Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham, back again with another video. We have another new arrival. It's the 2023 BMW X5 xDrive 40i in Alpine White. All right, so this is the 2023 BMW X5 xDrive 40i in Alpine White with black interior. So this is our first uh, 2023 that I've seen that doesn't have M Sport on it. So I just wanted to take the opportunity to share this vehicle with you. Uh, there are no scheduled changes for 2023 X5 as there will be an early release for the 2024, which will have the LCI design, which uh, so far we've only seen spy shots. We're not 100% sure exactly what it's going to look like, but I can assure you it's going to look good. And uh, I just wanted to walk all the way around the car so you guys can have a look. This one does have the trailer hitch at the back. And it is already sold. And we're just waiting to have the customer arrive so that they can collect this vehicle. So let's jump into the car. Alright, so from the front we can see we've got the BMW LED headlights which look really good. Always look good like that. We have the... Uh, X-line design down here, so non-M Sport. We have the one-piece chrome kidney grille, which looks really good. And at the very bottom there, you can see the radar. And we've got sensors all the way around the front, looking really nice. And over here, we have the 20-inch V-spoke 438 wheels, looking really nice there. And because this is the non-M Sport, we do have the black surrounds over the fenders. And we've also got the black rocker panel as well. So down here, we've got that little cutout on the front fender. We've got the nice body lines going from the front all the way through to the back. Coming up into the rear door handle and right into the tail light. And let me just get those tail lights on for you. Give me one second there. Tail lights look really good. We've got uh, the lower bumper design uh, with the freeform exhaust on the non M Sport design. And also uh, from the back here, we do have the shark fin style antenna, which I'm starting to see is going away. Let's open up the tailgate here. So it is a split tailgate. All right. And we have a cargo cover here, which can be retracted. There's a button right there that you can press in order to release the cargo cover. And if I just lower the lower tailgate by pressing that button, I can lift this up. So the carpeted floor mats are there in that storage space. We have tow hook, wheel lock key down here. So that's really nice. We have a grocery bag hanger like this on either side. We also have a 12 volt plug inside of here. And on this side, if I lift this up, there's a little storage space down there as well. And I can press the button up here so I can close. The other one is close and lock, so let me just press that. And it will have both the upper and lower tailgates closed simultaneously. All right, so you can kind of see that welcome light carpet there. It's a little bit difficult to see with the lighting, but we do have lights on the door handle and we have comfort access on all four door handles. Inside of here, I just wanted to show you, so we do have the manual sunshade, which can be lifted up just like so. I've got the blue ambient lighting going on right here. We've got the winter floor mats in there. And take a look at these beautiful black merino leather seats. That looks really awesome. The two outer headrests in the back can flip up if uh, somebody's sitting here. But if nobody's sitting here, there's a button on the back that you could press. Release levers on the shoulder here to fold down the seats in a 60-40 split. We do have an armrest in the center here. And there is some storage space here with some cup holders. And when you put the armrest down, it reveals the string here for the center pass-through that you can pull down. On the back of each front seat, we have a USB Type-C charging port. There is a little accessory port door here uh, for BMW accessories. We also have uh, some pockets on the back of each seat. I like the ambient lighting just uh, down here. That looks really cool. Uh, we've got some vents on the back of the center console, rear climate controls with heated seats on the two outer positions. And there's also a 12 volt plug at the bottom. And there's also some vents underneath the front seats. And we've got some pockets in the side doors as well. Let's take a look at the front seats. All right, so if I open the front passenger door, 
So we've got some ambient lighting on the door there. We've got a speaker down here. We have the BMW door sill down here. Full power seat with lumbar and side bolster support. So again, let's take a look at those merino leather seats looking really nice. And then we've got the aluminum mesh trim on the dash. We have iDrive 7. And if I open this up, so we do have the communication pad down there. Uh, cup holders, USB 12 volt plug. And there's your uh, center there that we have the shift knob, the iDrive controller, all of your three modes. Park assist, traction control, hill descent control. And inside of here we've got the split armrest. So uh, we do have the USB type C charging port in there and it's also illuminated. And the armrest will heat with the heated seats. And this particular one does have uh, heated seats as well as ventilated seats. Let's go take a look from the driver's side. All right, so from the driver's side, there is a little bit of that welcome light carpet there as well. Light on the door handle. If I open that up, so we've got all of our window controls over here and we have your side mirror controls, tailgate controls. This is a button to use the driver's seat controls to control the front passenger seat. You've got your memory buttons there to save your seating position, side mirror position, steering wheel position, uh, head up display position and ambient light colors as well as presets. We've got full power seat over here as well, lumbar and side bolster, and just another nice close look at that beautiful stitching there. And on the inside here, we've got your exterior lighting controls. There's your steering wheel. We have live co cockpit professional, and this vehicle does have the full suite of cruise control. So we have assisted driving, distance control, and we've got heated steering wheel down here, radio controls on that side, and we have the paddle shifters on each side as well. Signal stock, board computer, automatic high beams, and we have one click up to activate the automatic rain sensing wipers. If the car was on, you'd see a little light here beside auto illuminate. And to turn on the rear wiper, you just twist it from off to the on position. And if you twist and hold, it will spray the rear, pull and hold will spray the front. So, looks really nice in here. Let's take a look under the hood. All right, so it is still the two pull system, just like the last one. And I'll lift up the hood. There's no manual prop rods. It's held, held up by these hydraulic prop rods. Uh, there is the beautiful B58 3 liter inline six twin power turbo. So this is the 335 horsepower, 331 foot pound of torque version. Positive battery terminal, negative battery terminals that post there. We have washer fluid here and uh, overall, Looks nice and neat in here, I like it. And uh, I know you like it too. All right, so I just wanna do a remote engine start, cold start. So remote engine start is three clicks on the lock button. So one, two, three. We have to wait about four seconds and we'll see the lights flash. So that was the cold start sound. Sounds pretty good. All right, so that was my tour of this beautiful 2023 BMW X5 xDrive 40i in Alpine white. Uh, car looks really good. I wanted to display this one because it doesn't have M Sport. A lot of our vehicles do have M Sport, so it's not often that I get a chance to show you one that doesn't have it. So I hope you guys like the video. If you do, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you love the video, give me a super thanks, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.